Well, is this thing on? No. Uh, this is another one of my recent noodulations. Uh, reading it for the first time in preparation for ceremonies. Not to discuss the ceremonies. This is a private I item, but uh, ceremonies tomorrow on. On the official solstice, uh, this is from the Gospel of the Flying Spaghetti Monster, from the Book of Cheesy Pasta, chapter 3, verses 1 through 13. For every sauce there is a season, and a time for every pasta under the heaven. A time to be cooked, and a time to be eaten, a time to strain noodles, and a time to suck up that which has been strained. A time to chill and a time to feel, a time to break bread and a time to dunk it in sauce. A time to eat and a time to quaff, a time to have more and a time to dance. A time to put away leftovers and a time to gather leftovers from the fridge, a time to reheat and a time to refrain from reheating. A time to get more and a time to choose not to. A time to keep eating and a time to step away from the spaghetti platter. A time to twirl fork and a time to spoon sauce. A time to keep pouring and a time to drink Chianti. A time to love pasta and a time to hate an empty plate. A time of washing dishes and a time of peace. What profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth, which I have no clue what that means. It's an annulation that's subject to interpretation. Let's find out what, what, what it may possibly mean. I have seen the menu which the flying spaghetti monster has given to the sons of men to be excited by it. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the appetite in their heart so that no man can find out the work that he maketh from the beginning to the end unless they read his cookbook. I know that there is good, no good in want of pasta, but for a man to rejoice and to cook noodles and make Chianti well in his life, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor, it is the gift of the flying spaghetti monster. Ramen.